in Alamo Heights, I think there's probably, you get people moving in like this. So it's a great um, example of how to get all of these things to match what your taste is. Stripped out. We got some paint, some priming going on, and all the new trims. Look at all the casing, the beautiful case work we're doing. Yeah. All the beautiful trims, the new baseboards. Oh, so we're doing that on all the doors. Oh. Yeah. Now in here we've got new crown molding. This is gone. The cabinets we took those Large. out. Yeah, that's all gone. Uh huh. New texture. Is all this going to be all the all new floors. hardwood, right? All hardwood floors, right. And then this is all smoothed out now. Yep. It's going to look great. Yeah. And our cabinets came. We've got cabinets. Yep. Because we're doing new wet bar, right? New wet bar right in here. All this has been yanked out now. Mm-hmm. Don't touch it. We've got all the new moldings. Uh-huh. And then they're going to paint that, right? Yeah, all that gets painted. Now we're just putting the prime coat right now. So you can see, appliance has been pulled, countertops are gonna be, I mean, backsplash is gonna be removed. Uh-huh. And then counters, and new appliances, new floors in here as well, all throughout. Because this house had such good structure already, so they wanted to keep as much of it as they could. So that's what we're saving, the stuff that, matched their taste that they still liked. Like, they have a lot of really great cabinets. The bathrooms were already really good. It's pretty typical for the Alamo cabinets Heights. cabinets work well, and now we're gonna paint them to give them a fresh mm -hmm. look. This is cherry, but we are gonna paint them. But the reason we masked them off is because... We don't need overspray. Well, yeah, we don't wanna get a layer on there until we're ready to touch the cabinets itself. So that's kinda of like its want, own separate project. Yeah, you want your paint where they're supposed to be paint. <laughs> not, not working two projects at once. Yes. So it's all done in a very specific order, and this saves a lot of time too. Now, this is different. We can spray in here because we've, we've got nobody living in here. Yes. And this is not always the case, but in the larger remodels, it's a real benefit. It saves a lot of time. Mm-hmm. So, what would, what would, it knocks weeks off the time mm -hmm. to be able to spray. And we're able to, you know, keep some product here too. Yep. So that's nice. So cabinets start going in. The next, the next video will, show a lot more oh yeah very exciting and you know it's always in alamo heights i think there's probably you get people moving in like this so it's a great um example of how to get all of these things to match what your taste is in an older home before you move in you don't have to deal with construction oh and don't forget also the garage is out oh that's right we're doing that and so you know it's it's keeping most of the bones mm -hmm. Even in this case, we're keeping the cabinets, mm -hmm. but it's going to look night and day difference without having to pay the full gutting of a home um, when you're not having to change a whole bunch of walls. Because a lot of people want to leave the cool classic elements of these older homes. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a good, good way to work with what you have and update it and still get like the feel of a brand new home for a lot less. Mm -hmm.